The more that I'm reading, the more I get fed up I'm working till I'm on a whole nother level They lurking, I'm humble, but I'll never settle I'm certain they hate on my name if I let them My flow is as sharp as stilettos Bars hitting harder than shots at the venom My demons retarded like they wanna play But I'm hot like Montana, so pray for the devil Let's get it This is 15 scary videos That will make you believe I mean, I already believe, but you know if you are not a believer of the paranormal, this video might help change your mind. Number 15. This video comes from the Kadena Air Force Base in Japan. One of the guards noticed shadowy movement coming from behind a barrier while on patrol. Bro, why does Japan have some creepy ass shit too? Japan? Mexico? You know, like that's some creepy shit, bro. Like they got some creepy stuff. Why is that? And when he checked the monitor later, he found the CCTV system had saved this recording of the incident. You see? Yeah, I see the, the shadow moving. You see how it There, it literally flies away. This could be a bug walking across the camera, but the two guards stationed there definitely agree that it's a ghost. Watch this part and tell me who you believe. Right there, it's not. Number oh, 14, a, a YouTuber named James Anderson records a strange event that occurred on the side of the road in a small village in England. Oh, his weird. dash cam picks up a figure walking dangerously close to his vehicle. Obviously, whoever this is must have seen his headlights coming from a mile away, yet they clearly make no effort to move over. Why this person was traveling in pitch dark, or how they were even able to keep track of where they were going is a mystery that- See man, look, I drive a lot at night, but never on like roads that are like that, like just, you know, just nothing, because I'm scared to see some shit like that. You know my, what like, what really terrifies me about driving at night is if I look back in my little rear view mirror, and I see like someone sitting you know, in the in the back seat, like just like like everything all good. Like I'm just driving around, listening to my music, all happy and shit. And some weird ass figure is just sitting back there, like that scares me. You know, that's what scares me. I don't I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to know you there. I don't like nothing. Like I don't. I'm good. It's tough to solve. Stranger still is the high-pitched whistle that James records as he passes by. Is this sound an electrical disturbance caused by the paranormal? Listen. Number 13. Something in this empty bathroom is putting this dog on high alert, but not even the animal knows exactly what or where it is. First, the dog sniffs under a counter until something grabs its attention from above, but nothing moves or otherwise makes a sound, so I don't know what it's looking at here. Then the dog starts barking wildly while backing out of the bathroom and looking all around, almost like it's surrounded by something that you and I can't see. Oh hell no. It actually looks like something makes it stop and flinch here at 30 seconds. I don't see or hear a bug flying around, which is my only guess, so what could this dog be having a reaction to? Anyway, the dog actually sits down in confusion for a bit, and then backs out of the bathroom. If you saw this in your home, would you readily have an explanation at hand, or would you question the possibility of a spirit realm? And speaking of bathroom mirrors with seemingly hell? paranormal occurrences, this couple was trying to take a selfie, but look what's happening in the mirror. Do you think this is paranormal or Photoshop? It definitely looks convincing to me. Number 12. I see it. I know, me too. Right now. And I know. there's nothing in the window. I see it. Three friends record an abandoned old house that is overgrown with weeds and thick- Look, I said it once, I'll say it again. Stop fucking with abandoned houses, bro. Ab ab abandoned houses don't bring nothing but trouble. Always some type of spirits in there. Always some weird stuff going on. Stop messing with abandoned houses, okay? That's their domain. That's their playground. That's their target, bro. They they go in that mug shopping for shit. That's their target. Stop messing with abandoned houses. 
You see a abandoned house, you get on the other side of the street. You walk the other direction, okay? Run away. People stopping and taking pictures and videos and shit. Oh, want to go inside. No, that's their target. Okay, they in there just doing whatever the hell they do. Yeah, man. Gets. At 2 minutes and 37 seconds, you can see that nothing is in the doorway. But just 5 seconds later, something pokes its head through the door. Aw, hell no. Look, look, we're at the curtain, bro. Something's looking at us. This could be a spirit peeking out at them from the darkness, or it could be a leaf dangling in the wind from a nearby ivy patch. The camera quality is pretty bad, but this was taken in 2007, so most phones looked like this. Still, whatever they saw that day no, was enough tripping. to make a believer out of all three tripping, of them. Bro. I'm sure it looked much more clear in person. Number 11. This video, taken on the island of St. Pierre in Miquelon, shows a ship that won't come into the focus until the camera is fully zoomed in. It is not visible from the shore, and it appears to be a real ghost ship. When the camera zooms back out, it once again mysteriously and inexplicably disappears from sight. Unless this is good video editing skills, how does this event even occur? Number 10. Two friends decide to explore a long country road leading to a cemetery somewhere in India. 3.33 AM rolls along, and they think they are safe from any danger since they've gotten this far without anything happening. But that's precisely when they are ambushed from the shadows. Cute, huh? A much taller figure in all black robes chases them without saying a word. The scared friend is running as fast as he can, but somehow the figure manages to keep up despite taking much shorter steps at a lesser speed as they run for their lives. It lets out squeals of insane joy while trailing from behind. Why the, f why the fuck are you in the woods, uh, forest, uh, death trap at 3.30 in the morning, first of all? Second of all, back to the first one. Why the fuck are you there? Are uh, you asking for, like, bro, you are literally just asking for death at that point. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. You you don't have a gun. You ain't got a knife on you. And and, and you in the woods with a with a camera phone at 3 a.m. thinking everything's sweet. Nothing sweet. Ain't nothing sweet. What did you think was gonna happen? You was gonna find a baby fucking lion or something? A fucking koala bear? Like what like what the, the uh, what's the thought process here? We need a plan before I head out. Like, if someone came to me, it was like, yo, bro, we gonna go in the woods at 3 a.m., you feel me, and just record some shit. Okay, what's the plan? What, 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 what are we looking for? Okay, what, what, is the, what are we trying to accomplish tonight? Are we trying to die? Is that what you're saying? You want to die? Because that, no, I, I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't think that's for me. I don't think that's that's... I don't I don't think that's the plan. That's not my plan. That could be your plan. You can do that on your own damn time. Not I. Not I. Got motherfucking figures chasing me and shit now. At four so minutes I, and thirty here. seconds they leave fucking the graveyard you. and it seems to disappear back into the darkness mm -hmm. from where it came, apparently unable to leave the sacred grounds past this point. Number nine. A woman somehow stands at the very top of a tree with her arms behind her back and does not topple over or lose her balance in the slightest. There are a few reasons why this could be paranormal. Aside from being able to hold this unnatural position for a long period of time, the branches look way too thin to hold up a person. She also never looks away from a single point in the sky, not even when the village tries to get her attention. <laughs> It's almost like they do not exist to her at all. Number 8. 
This video of a graveyard in Alabama has been making believers out of people since 2007. A creeping fog rises up way too fast and seems to speed off in a hurry. There are no other visible patches of fog on the ground at all, which means a single Hell random no. low-hanging cloud appears out of Hell nowhere. No. Such an odd weather occurrence is definitely suspicious, at the very least and given the location, seemingly borders on the paranormal. Number 7. A hotel worker in Mexico films a clean yep, property to show to his boss when a bizarre encounter sends him running in the opposite direction. Ghost, wind, or prank? That is the question. Where's George? Come on, Luis. Nah, wind don't do that. It would have moved way According faster. to the uploader, this mask is very heavy and impossible to move so easily. I personally noticed that the plants and trees are not moving, so it can't be the wind. That leaves one of two possibilities. Either someone was playing a joke on him, or he really was visited by a spirit. Which do you think it was? Number 6. A YouTuber named Kelsey Davies visits a haunted chapel in San Juan, Mexico, where a massive quake once took the lives of two red flags. Two red flags. Hunted and Mexico. Everything in Mexico is hunted. The fuck are you doing? You, you, I keep telling people, man, they don't want visitors. Okay? They don't want to see you. They don't even want to be there they damn self. So what make you believe that they want to see your ass come to their domain? Once again, what is the reason? What's the what's the plan? What are we trying to accomplish? What's the goal? Because I don't get it. Of at least 40 people during the 1800s, she and a friend are trying to look down a creepy glass window that leads to the old plumbing system when this voice chuckles to itself in three deep notes. Huh, so they still have like... Did you hear that? Have like... The laughter sounds like it's practically behind them, but when Kelsey turns around just seconds later, you can see how small and empty the room is. No one else is nearby. We legit just also, heard a laugh. I am supposed to flash. That was, that was a laugh. That was like, <laughs> And when they go into the next room, they notice the chain is swinging as if someone had just walked by. I guess they could have moved it themselves and started recording immediately afterwards, but that still wouldn't explain the laughter earlier. Are these two events enough to make you believe? Number 5. A strange shadow is caught in church moving against the wall and then vanishing midway across the entranceway. You can see the door is well lit, and in church my opinion so the shadow should have continued to pass across without disappearing. It's almost like it passed through Churches the doors instead. Mm -hmm. Less than a minute later, this streak of light falls from the sky to the ground. Is this just a coincidence or a further sign of the paranormal? Number 4. This strange and distant ghostly voice recorded in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania has not been solved since 2005. Take a listen and try to explain what it could be. Some people say it sounds like a ghost speaking in a different language, while others say it sounds like a general giving marching orders. All I know is that the voice sounds pretty different than anyone else in the video. Everyone else is speaking at a normal volume and sounds pretty clear. So poor camera quality is not to blame. Listen. The men at Gettysburg College to stick to their studies. <laughs> Yet this voice sounds like it's somehow simultaneously up close and far away in comparison. What is it? Mm. Number 3. A YouTuber named Stan Carlock uploads a strange incident that occurred on his front porch, which he claims was uninhabited at the time. Everything looks normal and then a whirlwind of paranormal mist takes off out of nowhere. Stan claims what to see a heck? giant face in the mist, which I can only kind of see here at the 18 second mark. Its mouth is open and its right eye and nose are just barely visible. Let me know if you can see it too. Number 2. 
A YouTuber named Commando Incorporated gets a home security alert on his phone at 2 a.m. after a motion detection camera turns itself on. When he checks out the video recording, he sees what appears to be someone's broad shoulder and possibly their hair in the shot, almost like they are standing in place and swaying slightly. See, that's why the whole uh, doorbell camera shit scares me. Because, like, that. You know, the, the weird notifications at 3 a.m. when fucking Ghost is out playing Ding Dong Ditch at your house. That shit scares me, bro. Shit scares me. I don't want to see it. I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Whatever shenanigans you got going on, do your thing. I just don't want to see it. I don't. Lately, I agree that it definitely looks like a person. But here's the thing. When he shows the location of the camera, it's almost impossible for that to be true. So, this is underneath the porch, and just like I said, it's like probably 10 to 15 feet, 10 feet off the ground at least right here. Not only is the camera up too high for anyone to reach, but Commando Incorporated says that he has a second motion activated camera near the first one that for some reason did not go off. The other camera looks down my steps and at the back of my house. The other camera didn't go off, so there's, uh, there was no movement or anything down here. Now keep in mind that the first camera, the one that detected that movement, is just down the steps on the other side of this rail. And this is where, right underneath here, is where that camera is. It's actually sitting. So basically, there should be no way for someone to stand nearby without both cameras going off. Commando Incorporated was on military leave at the time and nowhere near his property. What do you make of this event? Paranormal or somehow staged? I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Sean Boliner and his friends sneak into a creepy abandoned building and head straight for the basement, ah, which is- see, 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 see. Shout out to the people that have friends that are willing to do shit like that without, like, you know, any questions. Because I'm the type of person, I need, I need all types of answers, okay? You gotta fucking tell me what's the plan. Okay, like if, if, if something goes wrong, where we meeting up because I'm running away. I'm not really thinking about what you doing. And if you don't get to the spot, you know, that we said is the safe zone in a matter of, you know, 10 minutes of me leaving. I'm going to assume that the ghost got you, probably ate you, you probably died. And I'm going to go home and go about my life. So I need plans. Okay. So, if you got friends like that, I mean, hey, shout out to y'all. Y'all look you're fucking awesome. That's cool. But me personally, I need plans. I need to know what the what the goal is. What the goal is. And if shit goes south, I'm leaving. And I want you to know that. I want you to know you're on your own. Shit goes south, you're on your own. You the one that wanted to come in here. I didn't want to come in here. You woke me up. It's rumored to be the most haunted area of all. It isn't long before their camera equipment malfunctions, possibly from an abundance of paranormal energy, and leaves them stranded in the dark. Aww, when the light returns, no. a spirit with a pale and dirty face is standing before Sean and his friends. It takes a few steps oh, forward and they bolt out of the to house. The fuck, to the no, to the fuck you, to the no, I'm swinging on everybody in the goddamn building. Oh, every, at that moment of time, everybody's getting socked. If I look up and I see some sh right here, oh yeah, bow, bing, 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 and then I'm turning around, bow, bing, bing, bing. Yup, no, 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 no. Everybody getting punched out. Everybody's catching these Mike Tyson fucking uppercuts because there ain't no way. You put me, you put me in front with this fucking... This whatever the hell that nurse made nun dead creature thing was. Everybody's getting socked. I'm swinging. I'm come. I'm I'm boy. I'ma be fucking uh, man. I'ma be Mayweather. 
I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to start hitting shit like Conor McGregor. People are going to be catching knees, flying elbows, all types of shit. Because this mug was ugly as hell. This, whatever that was, was ugly as hell, boy. Camera like, equipment malfunctions, possibly from an abundance of paranormal energy, and leaves them stranded in the dark. When their light Look returns, a spirit with a pale and dirty face is standing before Sean and his friends. No. It takes a... Motherf oh hell no that's some shit straight out of star wars like i'm good bro you won't nah mm -mm. i would have dead ass shit myself and then socked everybody up man everybody would have got socked everybody i'm trying to tell you everybody would have got socked hard too a few steps forward and they bolt out of the house screaming for their lives the overall pacing and the way it was shot makes me think this almost has to be a short horror film. And it looks like it could be someone wearing a mask too. But could I wasn't be. there so maybe I'm being too judgmental. Either way, Sean insists that he still doesn't know what it was to this very day. Scary videos go viral all of the time. But Hell no. Nope. I would... Boy, I'm trying to tell you, don't take me into no shit like that. Don't take me into no shit like that. You don't expect me to run away or fucking sock. Like, you got to be willing to get hit with me. You know, if I'm going, you got to be willing to get hit because you might get hit or left. It's one of the two. There, there's no in between. I'm not staying. I'm not trying to figure out what this thing wants, who this thing is, if it had a family or nothing. No, I'm I'm worrying about myself. OK, I'm surviving this night. And that's all I care about.